Hello there, everybody. Recently, one of my followers sent me a link to a YouTube video that was mighty interesting. What we can do to make our kids hate the Bible. So almost two years ago, Ken Ham and Hugh Ross had a debate along with some other older creationist, young Earth creationist panelists on TBN. And after watching this debate, I found Hugh Ross's arguments about the Bible to be so bad. Joan! Barbara, please! So wrong. Don't fuck with me, fellas! So horrible. No wire hangers ever! That I decided to create a video series called Fact Checking Hugh Ross. And today we will be going over the very first clip of what I'm sure will be a very long series of videos. Ominous new warnings about more violence to come. When we watch this debate, about 26 minutes into the video, we find Hugh Ross making an interesting argument about Hosea chapter 6. You knew it was crazy when you went into Christianity, but you thought by doing those acts and by saying those things, you could change things, but you can't. Listen, Hosea 6 goes into the number of days, and clearly those days are long periods of time, not 24 hours. So as we can clearly see from the clip, Hugh Ross is saying that in Hosea chapter 6, you have instances where the word day has a number attached to it, and it supposedly is clearly showing long ages. Well, we could just blindly believe what Hugh Ross says, or we could actually open up our Bibles. That's hard. When we turn to Hosea chapter 6, we read the following in verses 1 through 3. How would you begin to study the Bible with people who can't read very well? Which is this, like the spring rings that water the earth. So as we can see in Hosea chapter 6 verse 2, we have numbers attached to the word day in two instances. That provide further illumination. A UFO in the form of a bright light is seen descending over the dome of the rock in Jerusalem. But the one verse that my NIV study Bible gave to illuminate to the reader what Hosea 6 2 means you should read your Bible, sirs, you'll find all types of weird shit in there. Like, did you know Jesus was a Jew? Which says the following. From that time on, Jesus began to explain to his disciples that he must go to Jerusalem. Think Israel. And suffer many things at the hands of the elders, the chief priests, and the teachers of the law. and that he must be killed, and on the third day, be raised. So we read in Matthew 16, 21, that Jesus is going to be put to death by the religious leaders of his time, and that on the third day, he will rise from... <laughs> that Jesus rose. Of course, as a former Old Earth creationist myself, I know exactly why Hugh Ross got it wrong. 